heart of the forest, there is a magical world where wondrous creatures play the day away. Red light. Red light again. And where an unusual girl named Krista dreamt of faraway places. Hey, where are you going? Until the day Krista ignored the warnings of her friends. Krista, stop! And flew where no one had flown before. There, she made a huge discovery. <laughs> Come on! Ah! Huh? Look out! <laughs> you shrank me? Yeah. Catches on quick, doesn't it? Are you really a human? I'm Zach. I'm Krista. This weird creature is a human. Don't you think you're a little old to believe in human tails? Humans don't have tails. They have big, big bottoms that they wear with bad shorts. Now, Zack is rocking and rolling with a reptile. If I'm gonna eat somebody, it might as well be you. Blasting off with the Beetle Boys. Oh, oh, oh. Hanging ten on a falling leaf. And swinging around with a bat who's totally batty. It's a miracle! But with Zack came other humans. You see Zack anywhere? No. He probably cut out early. Who accidentally released an evil force named Hexus. There goes the neighborhood. Now, to get back to his world, Zack must help Krista find the courage. We've got nowhere else to go. And the magical power to save her world. Well, all right, Gummy. We're going to war. Let's go! Hey, 20th Century Fox invites you to witness the wonder, the music, and the adventure of a place worlds away from anything you've ever seen. Fern Gully. American tale. Meet the furlings. They're fun. They're funny. And they're full of mischief. Furlings! But their friend Michelle needs a magic potion. You only have two days time. <gasps> Think we should take this? Now they're on their own and off on an incredible journey. Join Abigail, the leader. We can take care of ourselves, thank you. Edgar, the brave. I'm drowning! <laughs> Get up. <laughs> and Russell, the one with an enormous appetite for adventure. Stuck in your stomach! He's back! He's back. No, From the courageous... Stuck in the mud. ...to the outrageous... They came along! Ow! Come along as they leap into action. Hallelujah! Swim against the odds. And together, come up with the perfect plan to reach for the sky. You don't really mean fly. Michelle's counting on us. Well, what? Their little paws and fly like birdies. We'll show you. Crank the winder uppers! Century Fox presents a high-flying adventure that will send your spirits soaring. Once Upon a Forest, featuring the voices of Michael Crawford, Broadway's legendary phantom, Stupendous! And the fabulous Ben Vereen. There's gonna be some celebrating today! Once Upon a Forest. Joe's the cat who could not 
behave He seldom did what he should Banjo was not really bad these days It's just he couldn't be good He had a net for a ruckus all round Although he was tiny and small A puppet for mama and papa would go But that didn't stop him at all Banjo's a cat who could not behave He seldom did what he should Joe, you've got to learn to mind. Really, Dad? I stopped, honest. You never listen. But, Dad, I was just going to have a little fun. <laughs> <gasps> he had a net for a ruckus or row, although he was tiny and small. Often poor Mama and Papa would scold, but that didn't stop him at all. I heard some people talking, and they said, if you drop a cat off a roof, it'll always land on its feet. So I thought we'd just jump off this old chicken coop. <gasps> well, you can talk to your blue, but I'm not gonna jump. Me neither. Sissies, Brady cats, <laughs> you're not gonna make us. <laughs> But we're gonna land on our feet. Hey, you guys, where are you going? Come on back. Look, I'll prove it. <laughs> we landed on our feet, Dad. And you're going to land something on the seat of your britches. Well, it wasn't all my fault. You have exactly one minute to fetch me a switch. <sighs> Banjo's the cat who could not behave. He seldom did what he should. I'm waiting. <laughs> I always get the blame for everything. No one even cares if I was hurt. I could be limping and really seriously hurt. And no one would even care. I can't find any switches. I should take back a two by four and let him hit me with it. I'm not having a good time. I'm gonna run away from home. That's what. So where are you headed for, Freeman? Oh, I'm headed for Salt Lake. Salt Lake? Big city like that? You sure must see some good times. Good times? Ho, ho, ho. I'll say good times. And the only way to know is to go where the good times are. <laughs> and Joe the Woodcock had as good as he can be. Off to the city where the good times are to see what he can see. Journey's end. Banjo the Woodpuck 
could not behave. He sang and did what he should. There's got to be some food around here somewhere. What are you doing in there? from home. You ran you ran away from home? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, kid. I didn't mean nothing. Come out of there. Ah, that's better. Uh, what's your name, little buddy? Banjo. I, I'm cold and I'm hungry and I want to go home. Come on, let's put this on. It'll keep you warm. By the way, uh, where is your home? And how come you ran away? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ran away from home myself when I was a kid. Uh, where did you say you were from? I live in a woodpile. <laughs> Some of my best friends live in woodpiles. 
Incidentally, my name is Crazy Legs. Crazy Legs? Yeah, that's it, kid. Mr. Legs, do you think you could help me, well, get home? That depends. Now, what'd you say your home was? In a wood pile. In Payson. Payson, hmm? Huh? That's a long, long way from here. I knew it. I'll never see you home again. Never, ever. Now, just a minute. Let me think. Uh, how did you get here? I hitched a ride on Mr. Chipman's feed truck. Well, then all we got to do is find Mr. Chipman's truck and put you on it, and you're as good as home. Yeah? Yeah. Say, you know, I'm starved. Let's go get something to eat. Hey, crazy. Can we look for the truck, too? Sure, we can look. Come on. Maybe we'll see some of those good times along the way. Someone who could help us find that truck? Zazu. Zazu? Precious little child. Crazy, what are you doing with this boy? I found him over behind Ernie's. Yeah, he found me. Yes, I know, honey. A little fella like that knocking about the city could get into a heap of trouble. But I'm not... I ain't got him in no trouble. He ran away from home. Ran away? Uh-huh, on the Chipman feed truck. You poor little child. Don't you miss your family. Oh, of course you do. Crazy. I want to go home. Oh, come on. He's homesick. Now, look at what you've done. I had him all cheered up. Now you done brought him down. You ain't thinking on running out on me, are you? Because if we're going to find that truck, <laughs> you know something, buddy? We got to stick together. I'll stick with you, kid. And you stick with me. Now, together, we'll overcome adversity. <laughs> and old man trouble, well, he'll have to let you be. Because you're going to come <laughs> out smiling if you stick with me. So keep your chin up and look up high. You'll find your trouble will pass you by. I'll stick with you, kid. You stick with me. Together we'll overcome adversity. Oh, man, trouble will have to let you be. Cause you're gonna come out smiling if you stick with me. Cause they think in number, we always work things out. We can't be too careful, there's danger all about. So look in each corner and under bushes too. There could be a growling thing that's waiting there for you. Oh no, crazy, what'll I do? What'll you do? Well, 
I'll stick with you, kid. You stick with me. Together we'll overcome adversity. And oh man, trouble will have to let you be. Cause you're gonna come out smiling if you stick with me. Subject is eating, that's what it's all about. A chicken, a tuna, and now and then a trout. Ain't got the chicken, and tuna can't be found. The truth is, we're starving, there ain't no food in town. <laughs> oh no, what'll I do? What do you do? Well, I stick with you, kid. You stick with me. Together we'll overcome it. Mm-hmm. 
you headed for today, Freeman? Oh, what's out? Got to take some green down to Payson. Payson? Why, that's a great little town. I, you know, I used to live there. Crazy Legs, wake up, wake up! It's here, it's the truck. Come on, Crazy, come uh, uh, on! What's happening, what? Crazy, that's it. That's the truck that brought me here. That's the truck. Well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> the chip and beef truck is here. Whoopee, I'm going home. <laughs> Crazy, come on! Let's go see him off! Come on, girls! <laughs> Come on, that man! Crazy! That's it! That's the truck that brought me here! That's the truck! <laughs> that's it! That's it, little buddy! Well, I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye? Yeah, you're going home. We're staying here. Crazy. Come on, say goodbye to the girls. Goodbye, Cleo. Melina? Goodbye, Zazu. You precious little child. Bless you, darling. I miss you. Crazy. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Crazy, the truck, the truck! Wait! Come back! Stop! Grab on! I can't reach it! I got it! I got it! <laughs>